Hello everybody! Well today, we're looking at the Calico Critter School Bus. We're gonna have a look at what's inside, open it up, have a look at it, see how nice it is, and then we're going to have a little play with it. So let's look at the back of the box first. You can see it has a school bus, it has some critters, and that's about it. Pretty simple this one, but very cute, so let's have a look inside. Okay, so here we have the school bus, and we have some stickers to go in the school bus and on the school bus, and we got the seats. We gotta put it together a little bit, but it doesn't come with any critters. I thought it did, but it doesn't. So if you get one of these, make sure you buy some critters too, so you can actually put little little animals in the school bus, but we'll just put the school bus together for now. So if we look inside the bus here, you can see that there are little holes. And on the bottom of the seats are little holes. So we'll just put those in there and push them down until they're in there nice and snug. You might want to get an adult to help you with this because this does, you do have to push a little bit hard on these to get them in there nicely. There we go. There's another one. Yeah, first one's still in. <laughs> when I was in school, I had to take a school bus every day to get to school. But the seats there, they would sit two people. These ones look like they can only fit one person here. So, a little bit of a smaller bus, I think. There also were lots and lots of rows, rows of seats. I think our school bus had almost uh, 60 people on it some mornings. Very busy, very big bus. So on the other side, we have a little stop sign that pops out to put over here. But to get it in, you have to pull this little lever inside back. You can see that moves there. And then you just line up the hole and pop it in. There we go. Easy peasy. And this little lever inside here will work the stop sign and the doors. Isn't that fancy? <laughs> that's nice. I like that. So now comes one of my favorite parts, and that's putting on the stickers. So these are all the stickers we have to put on here. We have some for the sides. I heart Berry Grove School. <laughs> I like that. So let's get going with that. Also in with the stickers, they give you a teeny tiny little pamphlet that if you open it up, you can see some of the other sets that are available for Calico Critters and some of the families as well on the other side. That's really neat. You can see all the ones you have yet to collect and check off the ones you have. So let's get the stickers on here though. All right, let's start with the little stop sign here. Get our little stop sign sticker there we'll try to get that let's move this back a little bit there we go we'll try to get that nice and straight there we go so we have to do the other side of the sign too but that's a little bit harder because this side is only exposed when the signs popped out it's not so easy to get at but we can do that probably would have been easier to put these stickers on before I added the sign but it's on now Let's pull ahead there. You can see the stop sign. It goes in and out. That is very awesome. This moves really smoothly too. This is a really good quality toy. Next is the little banner at the top of the bus. That says school bus and also has the lights on it. Get this nice and, sh Ooh, nice and straight in there. That's a lot better. The school bus. And when the bus stops, these lights here will flash. Well, not really. They're just stickers. But on a real bus, they will. Let all the other drivers know that they should stop. That there's kids getting on and off the bus. And they're probably going to run out in front of them and call them names and push them down in the snow. No, probably not that. <laughs> no, kids are usually well behaved when it comes to the school bus. They get the marking on the back so everyone knows it's a school bus. Because there are other buses that look just like school buses, but because they're not a school bus, all the special rules that apply to school buses don't apply to them. And there we got the lights on the back as well. There we go. 
right down here we're gonna add a license plate a little tiny license plate right on the back there we go ABC one two three <laughs> that is a nice license plate for a school bus and on the front we're gonna add the bigger license plate And there we go. Nice and straight. Caligo Critters ABC 123. <laughs> we'll add the bumper sticker to the back. They don't actually give you a specific little spot to put this in, but I'm going to put it here. Just because that's where most people put their bumper stickers. There we go. I Heart Berry Grove School. Mm hmm. For this next one, we need to open up the doors. There we go. Because it's going to go there on the steps and say, watch your step. So that nobody will trip. And this one will be a little bit tricky to get in here, I think. Oops. Let's see if we can get it straight. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Not perfectly straight, but close enough. Watch your step. We get on the bus, we we'll close the doors now. <laughs> Alright, next we're going to place these big stickers that go on the side. So this one here goes around the stop sign shape there. It goes all the way to the back here. Pull it nice and tight. And press it on. <laughs> Yes, I'm making that funny sound on purpose. All right, we'll do the other side now too. Get the other long sticker. We'll start that over here. There. A little bit crooked, but I only stuck down the corner, so we can just pull it tight and straighten it up, and all the way to the back. There we go. And not as much funny noise this time. <laughs> okay, so there is the school bus all ready to go, but we don't have any calico critters. Like I said, I thought some would come with the school bus, but unfortunately they didn't. So, we have a friend though who's going to help us out. This is Marie, and she is the designated bus testing driver. Test driver? Yes, she is the bus test driver. Are you ready, Marie? Uh-huh. So let's get test driving. Get on up in there. Oh, got to duck down. She's a little tall. Get her in the seat. There we go. You ready, Marie? Yep. Let's close the doors. All right. So let's see how the doors work. Excellent. They open and close perfectly. What about the stop sign on the other side? That is working just fine. You can see everyone knows it's time to stop. Let's see how it takes off. And we'll see how it stops. I think it stops pretty good. So Marie, are you happy with the Calico Critters school bus? Uh-huh. You think it passes the test? Oh, yeah. Are you ready to test the brakes again? Uh-uh. <laughs> All right, Marie. Thank you very much. And we want to say thank you for watching us, too. So that's been the Calico Critters school bus. Very nice. Works very well. Just doesn't come with any critters. So thanks for watching, and bye-bye. Bye-bye!